y'all. Curtain, move. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all already know why I'm excited. Guess who finally got his line? Oh my gosh. Eight months of being on reserve. And thanks to... I was number 44 bidding in the base and your boy got a line. Now granted, it's a crappy line, but your boy got a line. So let's hop on in here and see what we got. Already, hey Stoney, you gotta say hey now, you just walked in my vlog. Oh, hey. Y'all, that is my roommate at the Crash Pad, Stoney. I'm gonna turn the camera so y'all can see him. <laughs> you know I'm shy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my roommate. You all know everything that I bid for. If you didn't catch that video, feel free to go back in and see um, my bid for me video from May so you can see what I asked for. I do know that <laughs> I didn't get a single trip um, because those went super, super senior. Okay, so I can go back and look at every single one of my preferences and know what happened to it, okay? Okay, so it looks like we have May 1st to the 6th off, which was part of my May 1st to the 4th off. Then there is a turn on the 7th to Philadelphia. That's cool. Then a turn on the 11th to Newark. That's high hour. And then on the 14th, there is, oh, that's the two-day trip. So this is a two-day trip with a Atlanta layover. We'll definitely keep that. Then on the 18th, we have a turn to another turn in Newark. Then on the 21st, we have a Iceland turn, followed by another turn on the 11th to Detroit. I did bid for those. Then on the 25th, another turn. No, this isn't a turn. This is double turns. So it's four legs, but the last leg is a deadhead. So it's three legs that day. And then the 28th is a turn to Islip, Long Island, New York, followed by Detroit. And then on the 31st, we have another ice. Oh, they're starting to put the positions in the Okay, positions. Treat me nice. It's a super, super choppy. Um, but that's okay because, you know, at this point we're going to take what we can get. I was awarded 65 hours. I'm going to um, do, I'm going to send a request to uh, the people who do all of that to add a couple reserve days to my schedule to, just to get me up to 75 hours. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to trade some of my days around to clump them a better, clump them together to make them more commutable so that when I come from Virginia to Miami, I can just come maybe work four days, three or four days, and then commute home. So I'm gonna trade them around, which should be fairly easy because everybody got turns. So it's just a matter of like, let's make our schedules look great. And then, you know, we're gonna see what we can pick up in open time because now that, once you get off a reserve and once you become a line holder, you have a lot more flexibility on what you can do with all of your days off. So I have- One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 20 days off. So you all think about it. As a reserve, I was getting 75 hours with 11 days off. Right now, the way this schedule is set, I'm getting 65 hours with 20 days off. I mean, I really can't complain, which is still better than the leave package, which was 50 hours to just sit at home or 37 and a half hours to sit at home. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm excited. We're going to trade it around. And then, you know, now that we got some flying, I'll actually have some content to film for you all. It's going to be turn, 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 turn. But that's as <laughs> world turns, you know, my grandma used to watch that story. Let's go. We are about to make magic happen. Hey, fly guys and fly girls. It's me in the future. Well, I guess the present, the future to this video. I don't know. Anyway, um, quick edit. So I said a bunch of things that I was going to do to my schedule in that video, and I didn't do any of them. What I did instead was I went on, we had so much open time available for next month that I just, when the open time board opened, I was able to pick up more turns and increase from my 65 hours to like 83 hours. So instead of having the 20 days off that I originally had, I think I'm down now to having uh, seven, 16 days off. Um, and so I'm still trying to trade some things around, but I'm gonna like insert the actual schedule that I think I'm probably gonna go into the month of May with unless it, it's probably gonna change, but um, I'm now at 
over our overtime threshold. So I'll be getting a little bit of overtime for next month um, based on what I currently have. And I actually like this schedule a little bit better than what I originally had. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that caveat in there because I'm watching this back like, man, a lot has changed. I'm just so excited. If you all cannot hear in my voice how on cloud nine I am right now. Eight months of being on reserve. I finally get to know what it feels like to have a line. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can see more of this kind of content, you know, because we got some to do, okay? I look forward to seeing you all next time. Later.